Hi there. Um, I just thought I would share another tip today about can you share, can you um, mix acrylic paint brands? Yes, you can. So you just need to be aware that when you buy a student brand such as Reeves, it's very different to say buying um, the uh, Windsor and Newton, which is a professional range. And what happens is that you have a lot of pigments and fillers. Hi, Haley pigments and fillers in the student range and in the professional range you have really good quality pigments. So what happens is when you mix them together and you're using them on the, on the canvas in the same painting, you're diluting your excellent quality down, to, uh, down a bit because you're using cheaper paint with it. So you're diluting the effect of the brilliance in the paint. Um, however, what you can do is, um, with professional range paints, the pigments is excellent, but one of the brands actually uh, is better than the others. And I'm not saying this because I'm supporting one brand more, it's just a fact that Windsor and Newton actually have um, what they call, a, um, like it's a clear resin inside, a clear polymer. So the other brands don't. Theirs is opaque, so what happens is when you paint on the canvas with the Windsor and Newton, the light can actually come through the paint and bounce back out and that gives it like a, a bright, brighter colours, better colours and very minimal colour shift. One of the things that's been um, known about acrylic paints for a long time is that they just don't look the same dry as they do when they're wet. You can be really into your painting and then you go away to make a cup of tea, come back, the thing looks a bit dull because it's dried and it's shifted and it just looks a bit dark, dark a slight dark shift. However, the Windsor and Newtons will give you an extremely, extremely minimal, minimal shift. They say no colour shift, but uh, we're only talking like 1% or something shift. Um, so what happens is when you add the student paints with those, and it's, sometimes it's very handy to be using something like a pre-mixed flesh, which, you know, the professional rangers expect that you can make that yourself out of your gold ochre and, and um, your permanent rose or whatever, uh, and white. So uh, but it is handy to have these pre-mixed colours. So when you're working on the canvas, how do you bring the colour up when you finish your painting? Well, what I like to do is so that you, the painting doesn't look dull. If you have used other brands that don't have that clear resin effect, um, you know, in this painting here, I've um, just finished. It's a commission that's going out to a, a lovely lady in Nowra, which I'm really excited about. I'm just finishing doing the varnish on it now. I have used um, a couple of the student quality paints. Not a lot, but I, I'm very fond of a pre-mixed medium grey, for example. So what I do is I then use um, a Winsor & Newton Artist Gloss Varnish. And what it does is it virtually brings the paint back to life for the paint brands that do dry darker. It gives them a lift. It's almost like them being wet again because you're getting that lovely gloss on them. So, you know, what I would say to you is, by all means, tart around at the cheaper end of town and the more expensive end of town with your paint brands. It's okay, but finish them off with a gloss varnish and then that'll get you out of strife and make sure that, um, you know, you are actually getting um, a finish on your painting that looks really good. It'll bring the brilliance of the colours up. You'll actually notice the colours looking more lustrous, particularly on your, on, um, your deeper colours. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Hello, Lily Coates. My daughter's actually watching this. Can't believe it. <laughs> so that's funny. She mustn't be very busy right now. Um, I hope that's been of help to you. Um, thanks, Haley. Uh, and Haley says she loves her Windsor Newton paints, and the info is gold. Um, so that's really good news. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, what, what I wouldn't do is go too cheap on the paints. Like, I know if you go into a cheap shop, you can get $2 paints, but I wouldn't spend that. I, I wouldn't do it. I, I think, you know, your time is the most valuable thing. Um, your, your paints, actually, just to let you know, when I use these Windsor & Newtons, this is the same set that I just used in Sydney a couple of weeks ago and on my Melbourne workshop. So um, I've got a whole set here. I've only had to top up, you know, a few pinks and, and so on, and definitely whites and blacks. Uh, but they've, they've actually lasted through, um, well, we did probably 26 paintings, including mine in Sydney, and we did, um, and these are big, big paintings. And then we've done another um, 16 paintings here. So we're still going on these tubes. So it's not the paint that's expensive, it's your time. So if you're gonna put the time in, you know, you wanna honor it by using as good as quality as you can, 
And then again, having some nice pre-mixed student paints in, in good quality brands. Okay, some brands that I recommend are Matisse, Liquitex, um, Golden are good, and definitely for your professional range, the Windsor and Newton, because you're gonna get the brilliance in your canvas, the brilliance of color, and that light popping in and out of the canvas through the clear resin, as I mentioned before. I hope that's helpful. Don't forget to gloss varnish your paintings afterwards. Oh, by the way, the gloss varnish has got a UV in it, so it's like putting a suntan lotion on your little baby after you finish painting it, and making sure that it's um, going to uh, not fade. So, hope that helps. Bye for now.